Hey guys, welcome back to Tanks Gaming with Tank. Um, I thought I'd bring you a little World of Tanks video in my T110 E4. And actually, a video of how not to play it. Uh, sorry for the background no guys, noise, guys. Uh, like, uh, like once before I was uh, in TeamSpeak with my former roommate, Pomus. Uh, I probably link uh, a link to his face, uh, his web YouTube page down below. He used to be a pretty good player, and he actually uploaded a few World of Tanks videos as well. Um, like for me, for him, it was uh, was quite a while since he last played it. Uh, not as long as it was for me. That was actually one of my first games in think about six months break, seven month break from all the tanks. Um, and guy he used to clan with, I think. I'm not quite sure about that. Anyway, uh, the E110 E4 is the American tier 10 anti-tank with a turret. Uh, you guys probably are aware that there are like two uh, anti-tank lines, one with turret, one without turret. Uh, I don't know if it's for every nation, but for the Americans it is. Uh, I don't recall the name of this map, uh, but I thought I was quite safe behind this bush because of the concealment and everything, but I was mistaken, so I took some hits already. I drive a little bit back. <coughs> But I'm not quite yet good at this game anymore. <laughs> uh, well, I, I actually have never been pretty good with my tier 10 anti-tank. Uh, I always lose money and uh, if I recall back, I think I've won about 5 games in this tank. <laughs> uh, I've survived about 5 games in this tank. Probably have been, I probably have won more, but... I barely survive because it's just a too slow tank for my taste. I like to play anti-tank. Uh, I, I think I have well, probably one of my best matches in World of Tanks history for me was with the uh, M18 Hellcat or with the Jackson. Uh, I know I had a pretty good runs with the first anti-tank, uh, the tier 3, tier 2. Not quite sure, not that I can remember that correctly. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, like in World of Warships, I should should just put more time into it. But like I explained in the World of Warships video, uh, everybody is using consumables and stuff like that. And I just don't have the time or the money to invest in those consumables. And you actually also need to pay attention to it or play pretty good uh, with it, uh, otherwise it, it doesn't make any sense to have the consumables if you don't know when the right time to use it. Uh, I guess that's something to do with training, but everybody else, uh, most of the people in random battles you get in, are using those consumables. Uh, as far as I know, you can buy them with in-game credits, so you don't have to spend gold on it. But the in-game it takes quite a lot of in-game credits, so those people who afford them with in-game credits put enough hours in and are just way better than I will ever be. Because yeah, I, I just kind of lost fun in the game. I, I still think it's a good-looking game. It's still fun to play with if you are in TeamSpeak with some friends. But... Uh, yeah, for me, to just play it alone, uh, I'd rather play mod Armored Warfare at the moment, guys. <coughs> it might change again, but for the moment, if I play any wargaming title, it is most likely World of Warships, or at, uh, actually almost inclusive, exclusively World of Warships. At, wor World of Warships at the moment. I... But, uh, this recording is also about a month old, I would say. Well, anyway, that was, that was the first battle you saw there. Uh, it didn't go quite well for me. Well, I took out one enemy tank. Uh, that was also 
more luck than skill, you could say. I just drove up to the side of him when he was focusing on my former roommate's uh, colleague <coughs> or acquaintance. And uh, that's the second run in in my T one hundred ten E four. Um, in this, in this is the map Mines, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Mines or Mine. Uh, I, I used to love this map. I mostly played it with uh, medium tanks or, like I said, with the light tank destroyer, uh, the tier five. In I would say t tier five till tier up, tier eight. I really like this map. Uh, I go for the hill most of the times, and that's kind of fun. <laughs> well, here I'm. Don't call it. Don't call it Lemming Train because you see my two platoon mates know what they're doing, and it looks like that the guys in front, uh, which are also coming this flank, pretty, pretty, are pretty good, or at least know what they are doing. They're doing everything yeah, right, and I think yeah. hey, there are so many targets, I can drive up a little bit, take my time, aim, and yeah. get a good shot in. Um, but I was mistaking pretty bad. Uh, yeah, like you see, there are many targets in this gap. I just sit there, wait that he is he, he clears the way. That's the guy who got his tracks blown off. I start to aim, and that was it. I didn't shoot a single shot in this match, and I got wrecked by a Yak Tiger. Yak? Yak? Uh, was it a Yak Tiger? I think it was a Yak Tiger. <coughs> so I tried to see it positive. I didn't have to spend any money to re re refuel my ammunition. Um, that was uh, like the fifth or sixth game of the day, and believe me, guys, none of them were going any good for me. Uh, we did some. Uh, I've also played one, some in my pattern, and I think we did one in the Hellcat as well. The Hellcat wasn't that bad, but also not that good. <coughs> in this game, I actually survived quite long, but I am also camping. Yeah, I would say that's the only fair description of what I'm doing here. And I'm not using. Any advantages of the terrain, terrain, which is pretty stupid. I could have just drove to the right side of this. What was it? A Hetzer? Uh, no, Hetzer would be too low level. Some, I think it's something German. Uh, and there, I would have the bush in front of me as well for some concealment. Not cover. Yeah. Well, if they can't see you, they can shoot you. But it's, it's not real cover. It's, it's more concealment. Um, but I think that was actually one of the better games. I bounced a couple of few shots. Um, you'll see that here in a second. We're trying to hold this flank together. Uh, unfortunately, my platoon already died in the town, or <coughs> is dying in the town. Not quite sure about that. Um, yeah. I think I get quite a good one in on... No, not this one. Maybe the next. Um, the aiming time of the T110 E4 isn't that bad, uh, also the accuracy is quite good, if you don't suck shooting, <laughs> like I do, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know guys, uh, it's way harder than I remembered it to, it to be to actually hit those targets all the way up. I don't know if they uh, like patched the tanks, yeah. like the velocity of the round and everything. I did get a decent hit on him, but I mean, uh, that's the biggest tier 10 gun you can use in, our, uh, in World of Tanks, in a tank destroyer. And I think you should do a bit more damage if you hit some. Well, I probably hit it like on the on the hardest armor. To part or anything because I wasn't aiming for any weak spots because I have no idea where those weak spots are. It was too long ago, uh, like I said, since I played it last and it's actually a learning curve guys. Uh, I also can't tell you from the silhouettes or from this distance what kind of tank it is. 
I know a few different tank types. Uh, I know where to shoot at if I realize early enough that it is a tank of this type. Like I think it's the KV-2 with the machine gun turret in front, like a little little spheric round t a turret in front of the big turret. Uh, that's one of the weak spots at the KV-2. I I'm pretty sure if if I messed it up, you can correct me in the comments. Like I said, I don't play this game uh, quite a lot anymore, but because we had some visitors today and I wanted to spend time with them. I hadn't time to do any recording at all, so I just checked if I had any old recordings which I didn't use, and well, luckily or unluckily for you, I found those of the of those World of Tank Tanks replay. So I hope you had fun watching me sucking in a T one hundred ten E four. And if you like the video guys, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos also of different games, you can always subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you next, next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.